Welcome to this tutorial video. It is for beginners on armor paint on how to make liveries for a set of course of competizione. Um, and in this description of the video, I'm going to leave the link for armor paint. It is a paid uh, software, but it's genuinely well worth it. I'm not affiliated with them. They're not sponsoring this video. It's just solely I use it and it's what I like using. I do use it with a thing called GIMP as well, but that'll be for a different video. Um, also, I'm going to show you how to apply it to the game as well, as some people may or may not know how to actually uh, apply the custom liveries to the game. So once you have Armor Paint open, I will also leave a link in the description, by the way, for a Google Drive file with all the 3D meshes. So you are able to download from that anytime. I'm going to leave it open for anyone for any time to use it. Um, so yeah, so we're going to apply a mesh for us. So what we need to do is go to import mesh. And then I have mine saved under ACC template. So we're going to do the Aston Martin V8 Vantage. I haven't done one of them in a little bit and you open up the obj file and then press import and voila there you go so before i would start on this i would change how we view this so i would change it from perspective to orthographic just means when you're applying the decals later on you can fine tune it in and the decal wraps around everything as well while perspective it just puts it on directly so if there's a curve or anything it stretches out it doesn't look great um so next thing we will do i'm going to do two different variants of a livery as well to show you one that just has a design and one that doesn't so we're going to add up three paint layers and on layer two what we're going to do is press new again and press group and then what we're going to do is change that group and call that decals do it all lowercase because you want the game to be able to pull it in so decals and then press on layer three and then group as well and the same thing we just change that then to sponsors so yeah with that one there it's a very very simple thing but i'm going to say pause it here if you want to do that and take your time because i know i'm going a little bit faster and then we move on to the next step now so once you have the layers done and in a row we need to press on layer two next and then we're going to go down to textures down the bottom and then press import um what will i go i'm gonna go with the abstract sky one for the crack so open that up now we want to add that as the layer on the car so what we need to do next under materials press new then double left click it we're going to remove this rgb here so right click and then delete then we're going to go down here to our image and then drag that up and we need then to layer up color with base color and alpha then underneath there and that is done so double left click on that again so we make sure to press on layer two then go right click and then to fill layer there we go that's a very basic one done now for me i always then change the layer to 4k now it has been done here because i was messing i think beforehand you can reduce it down to 2k 1k if you want but 4k is the way to go our resolution is down to 128 megapixels there which you do not want so yeah 4k is the perfect way i might just jump for a second and now what we need to do is go to the uv scale we're going to you know add a bit more into it and put a bit more depth into this image so basically it just multiplies the image several times so you hold down the right button on your mouse you can drag around the car and there you can see just how the image looks so it doesn't look too bad so we're going to go with this one for now so this one here you can pause and go over and add the paint layer and then we come back to the next piece so now that we have the paint layer done what i normally do is add a black mask so up to the top you press on new black mask and then the car looks plain again you can press on that it's still there so what we're going to do is go back to the white tool and then we keep it on the paintbrush but i'm going to move the radius up much bigger because it just makes life easier and then hold down the left button and what the black mask does then is it pulls all the panels i'm gonna let off see the way it's building up the panels on the mask here so it just means if you use photoshop or gimp it builds up all them files for you so it's a lot easier for you to edit later on if you want to use it in the likes of gimp or photoshop that is for the matter as well it's going to take just a minute to get done and of course trying to get every bit of it as well it does take a minute 
But this is all part of it, and I'm going to make it to watch it because it gives you time to pause it and do your own bit as well. So. Do, do, do. I'm going to use the magic of computers now. One second. Thanks to the magic of YouTube. That's the car fully done, guys. So just make sure you get underneath, get every bit of the car done. And uh, yeah, once that is ready for the next phase, it is going to be adding sponsors. So to add them, it's just basically import again. Um, so I'm going to add obviously my horse box. I'm just going to add three or four just to kind of show you kind of how to do that part of it. Um, I'll show Valentino onto it as well. Sure, why not? Even though he drives Lambo. Um, let me see. Go Prelly as well. That'll do. So it's going to be the same thing as adding the paint layer. So we need to make up four new ones of these. And the same thing again. It is then, sorry, double left click. And delete the RGB. Drag up the other one and line the bits up. So color the base and alpha underneath as well. Then move on to the next one, delete RGB, add in Gulf, and the same thing, and on to the next one, Ooh. delete RGB. You won't get any fancy editing here with me, you'll see me making mistakes. I do mistakes with names and commentary, I'll do it here making these videos. It's all part of it. Um, yeah, so look, once you have all them done, that's the Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. So we're on the sponsors one there. So I'll press Horsebox Dreams Force and it doesn't work straight off the back because we're using the paintbrush. Drop down to the fourth one here and then there we go. Now, the only thing is for me, you need to line up the car perfectly. So go to camera, press on right. So that's exactly the right side. Now you see the image is way too big. So we need to go back to the radius, which we're using for the paintbrush. I'm going to bring that down. So what we can do then is I'm going to add the horse box there. So it's up by enough. So you know, I'll bring it down. So to about there and then that sticks. And then we go to the other side. So instead of lining it like that, I'm making a mistake. Go to the left. And then there we go. Boom. And then for another instance, I will go up here. Add horse box streams. There. Right. Very, very simple. And see the way that the horse box streams goes with the lines of the car as well. Well, if you use, say, just to show you, for instance, this one here. So we'll go back to the camera just to show you the difference. So pause it if you want for a minute and apply decals. But just to show you a perspective, because it gives you a different perspective on it. If I press on that there like that, See the way it drags up over it and it looks absolutely horrendous. So I'm going to go back now to autographic or whatever it's called. And I'm going to do the same thing again there. Now, see the way it's not as bad, but it wraps around the car. But like obviously in the likes of the Lambos and that, it looks a lot better. But yeah, trust me, better off not using it. Right, so we're going to go Pirelli next. I'm going to make them smaller. And go to camera and we go front. I'll make them very small and then but to zoom in on the car, by the way, guys, as well, I just use the mouse piece. So we'll zoom in there a bit. So we need to add Pirelli to the car. So I'm going to add it there, just over the, the same then. This side. And then we'll go to the back as well, just add on. I'm doing very simple looking ones. Just so, uh, yeah, it's it's not too complicated. So the back, I'm going to put Paradi there. And Paradi. Oh, right up there. I always do a eye. All right, so we're probably on horse box on. So next up, the doctor himself. So now we need to make him a lot bigger. I'm going to put him on the roof. So camera, go to the top. Okay. Zoom out. So I'm going to put the doctor there. And that's just a left click. So once you do a left click once, and just say you're not happy with how it looks, Control Z removes it. 
and then left click to supply it. And then we'll add golf as well. Just one more livery or one more decal, shall I say? Uh, I'll put add that to the bottom. No, there's not. So what I'll do, I'm going to add that onto the wings. So I'm going to move the radius down. Now, here is another thing. So if you want to angle, actually, the way the golf looks, I'm going to do it on the rear quarter just to show you this. So if you want to angle it there, you just have the angle piece here. So I'm just going to roll it this way to give it a bit of a look there. Oh no, that looks horrendous. But an angle, there we go. And then this side here. Move the angle back down to the other way. No, it's not enough of an angle. Or probably too much of an angle, should I say. There we go. Right. I'm going to add that there. See, you guys, I'm talking an awful lot of shit in these videos, so I do apologise. So, look, I'm not going mad to line everything up perfect. So, you can pause it here. This is all your sponsors on, but obviously, you put on the ones that you want. And then I'm going to show you how to save the files correctly. And then we're going to apply it to the game. So now that we have that done, we're going to apply it to the game. So that's why I have the game open in the background all along. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to minimize that window for now. We're going to have to make up a car for this to go on to. So we need to make a car file. So we'll go on here now and we'll go, oh, sorry, add. And then we go to Aston Martin V8 Vantage 2019. Team name, YouTube. So we call it YouTube. And I want to change the number to be up at the front there because we force box on the doors. So then press save. So that's our car. Now, how do we add that to the game? Very, very simple. I'm going to minimize the game. Then we're actually going to open this folder here. So I'll drag over onto the screen. And then we're going to go to documents. So of course, a competition, customs, then we're going to look for the car folder. And because this is all in day order, this is the one that we're looking for. We're only after creating this. So we're going to open this up here. So right click that, open with a notepad. So while that's open, just right click on the desktop and we're going to make a folder as well. So this folder is going to be a delivery folder. And this is what our folder here is going to pull up in a second. So I'm just going to call this one here, just for the crack, M-O-O, -O, so Moo, yeah? And then, so we need to add to the car folder to pull up the livery from the folder Moo. So what we need to do is go custom skin names and spell it exactly as it looks there, so M-O-O. -O. Then we save that there. So that's saved and I can close that. So... I'm just going to leave this in customs and we'll come back to this in a minute because we're going to have to drag this livery folder into customs and liveries now in a minute once we have everything saved into it. So I'm going to leave that minimized for now and we're going to go back to armor paint here. So now we need to save these. So I'm going to right click on sponsors and export. Now, technically we've already changed this to 4K and we need to change the preset from generic to base color. And because I've already done it, I don't need to do this again. But you who is doing this for the first time, we just need to go to presets and under A, make sure this is opaque. So make sure you go down and put that on opaque. And it will automatically saves us that. You will not have to repeat that process again. But every time you are making a livery, you will have to change the preset to base color. And we're going to press export. And of course, we're going to add it into the move folder there. So there's the move folder open. And then this one here is sponsor. So S P O N or S. And we're going to save that PNG there. And we're going to repeat the process for the decals. But everything is already saved now because we've done it for sponsors. So it's just directly to export. And we're going to call this decals. Then we'll save that there. So essentially that is that bit done. So what I will recommend we do before adding it in. Because the file saves as decal underscore base and decal or sorry sponsors underscore base. They're not going to automatically load in. So just right click on this. And then we're going to just leave our decals on its own. Otherwise, the game will not pick it up. And the same with this one here. And there we go. So now 
we're going to drag that folder into the folder here for documents, set of course, the competizione, customs, and then liveries, and literally just grab the folder and add into it. Done and dusted. So now we're going to go back to the game, and if the game works as it should, I'm just going to go back into it there now. And we're going to go Aston Martin, and there we're going to pick YouTube. Now it does take a second to load up because it's generating the new DDS files and everything else as well. And there we go. So that is literally the car now made into reality. Quite simple, really, once you kind of know the basics. And like the world's your oyster and what you can do with it. Um, yeah, so look, that's a very, very basic guide. So guys, that is it. It's on the track there and it looks quite nice. Um, so thanks for being patient and watching the video with me. Um, don't be afraid to subscribe, press that like button and even drop a comment. I will be doing some more media in the coming weeks in terms of how to use software for commentary. So that'd be like the stream labs, ACC race control. I'll be also doing stuff with the likes of sound quality. Um, I will be doing the likes of race labs, loads of different guides over the next few weeks. So please, please uh, give that subscribe button a good smash there. And I'll see you for the next video, guys. Thank you so much. And I hope this helps all the new livery artists out there.